I decided upon a 24 volt system voltage because my well pump draws 2,500 watts, and that would be well over 200 amps in a 12 volt system. Even at 24 volts, 2,500 watts is about 104 amps, and since inverters are not 100% efficient, the inverter will draw closer to 115 to 130 amps when the well pump is running. A well pump motor is a hard load to drive with an inverter, as it has a significant startup surge requirement. Many high-frequency inverters have trouble starting electric motors, such as well pumps, AC systems, or refrigerator compressors. If I were building an off-grid power system that needed to power my house all the time, I would select a professional split-phase inverter system, such as this Schneider Electric Connects It uh, SW4024 inverter. It has a true sine wave output, a built-in charger that can be programmed to work with custom battery voltages, such as the Nissan Leaf cells I'm using, and has certifications that it is safe and can actually meet the specifications it claims. It can run a well pump continuously and is rated to surge to 7,000 watts for five seconds, which most likely means it can handle the startup draw of the motor. I also like the fact that it's a split phase system, so I could use it to run 120 volt appliances as well as the 240 volt well pump. The only problem with it is that it costs more than my entire budget, so I am forced to dive into the murky seas of inexpensive imported inverters where specifications are not necessarily to be believed. To identify candidate 220 volt inverters, I searched on the UK version of eBay, and then I used the titles there to look at the US site. I found several 24 volt to 220 volt inverters in my sub $400 price range that claimed to be able to put out 5,000 watts and surge to 10,000. But they were mostly modified sine wave, and I was not at all convinced that they could actually power my well pump. Due to the low 7 kilogram weight, I kind of assumed they're high frequency models. The Schneider electric inverter is also a high frequency inverter and is certainly possible for a high frequency inverter to be built that handles high startup surge draws, but it requires sophisticated design and quality components and correspondingly high prices. I eventually settled on the PowerJack 8000 watt low frequency inverter. The advantage of a low frequency inverter is that they generate a pure sine wave signal using low voltage electronics and use a very large power transformer to step the voltage up. This causes them to be large and heavy, but the large transformer can help support high startup draws from inductive devices such as an electric motor. Because it's easy to have a center tap off of a large power transformer, these low frequency inverters also support split phase operation. So I can run 120 volt appliances off of the same inverter, as long as you understand they can only use half the power. This is a nice benefit as I can use it to power my fridge or microwave when not running the well pump. As with most inexpensive imported inverters, the power jack specifications are wildly overrated, but their equipment has gone through several rounds of improvements and will generally work if you use it with a lot lower power draw than the advertised specifications. So the real question is, how much of a BS corrective factor do we need to apply? With a one-third derating factor, the 8,000 watt power jack inverter should work well for my well pump. If we go down to a 0.25 BS corrective factor, it's slightly underpowered. Luckily for me, the well pump is a very intermittent draw and only needs to turn on for half a minute to fill up the pressure reservoir. This will keep the heat buildup on the inverter down and hopefully stay well within its capabilities. I should also note that I don't believe the 90% efficiency numbers at all, and am planning on an 80% efficient inverter, which would make the 2500 watt draw from the well pump into a 130 amp draw from the 24 volt battery. Keep watching this playlist to find out if the power jack inverter actually works for powering my well pump.